Hey everybody, it's Melly Playful and welcome to my book nook. Today I'm going to talk to you about a young adult fiction book. It's called House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland and it's a modern day dark fairy tale where three sisters discover they are not exactly all that they seem. And I saw on Amazon where it actually said evil things really do go bump in the night and I was like, wow, that's a really good way to like start this off. So anyway, let's talk about these sisters. You have Iris Hollow and her two sisters, which are Grey and Viv. They disappeared without a trace from the street in Scotland, only to return a month later. No one knows where they had been, or who took them, or how they even got back, but they returned naked and freezing in the very same spot that they disappeared from. That's odd, isn't it? So soon after, their father spirals out of control and the thoughts that the three girls were not his children after all. They were different now. Their eyes and hair color had changed. They had no memory of the month they were gone and now they had abilities that people from this world just do not have. This affected, affected him so tremendously and so greatly that he decided to take his own life. There's a lot of tension in the house mostly because you know no one knows where they went to where they came back the father's killed himself and everything and i guess with with all of this tension building up you know there's a big fight along with some other things which we'll read in the book there's a big fight between gray the oda sister and the mother and even though she's pretty good about like coping with the the abilities these girls have and everything this fight was so big that gray and viv decided just to go off and do their own thing live their own lives but Iris, I guess in a way, made her happy because she got to stay behind and trying to be as normal as she can be. She just wants to finish high school and she wants to be her. She wants to blend in with the other girls. But you know, that's really hard because she disappeared 10 years ago and then she came back and everyone wants to know what's wrong with her and they think she's a witch and they think this horrible stuff about her because you know she's different now she's not like she used to be and of course these other kids are hearing all this stuff their parents are probably whispering behind her back about and then it does so does not help that both of her sisters are now famous and that's just kind of like the hollow way everybody has their eyes on them but ours she's doing pretty good she's liking you know just kind of blending in and then her sisters decide hey we're going to come home for a visit and so now like her peace is gone and the reason being is because Viv shows up, but Grey doesn't. Grey vanishes. She just disappears. And no one knows where she went to. And then on top of that, there's this man who keeps, like, pretty much following the girls as they're trying to, like, find their sister and figure out where she disappeared to. And also find out things about themselves and what happened to them, the mystery, like, of these girls they're trying their hardest to find this out and then they're running from this man who literally is wearing a bull skull yes i said that right b-u-l-l-l -L -L. i mean not not the third l <laughs> sorry i got a little overwhelmed there b-u-l-l -L, a male cow he's wearing the skull on his head and he smells like death it's so disgusting and they're like having to run from him and get ahead of him and dodge him at all costs and there's magic like around every corner and so this book is really good and you may seriously think that you know where the author is taking you but there are so many secrets and discoveries to be made that I guarantee it you will not figure it out until the very end and that ending is amazing House of Hollow is a slow, slow burn sometimes it's a little scary and a little heartbreaking but it's a well-written dark fairy tale for all readers I highly recommend this book if you are looking for something that keeps you wanting more and finishes with such shocking details that you, that you never ever saw coming. So this is my recommendation. I think you should check it out. Um, once again, it's House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. If you've read this book, let me know in the comments what you think. If you haven't read it, you plan on, let me know. Like, I, I really like to hear from you all what you guys think about these books. I want a conversation going. And if you have any suggestions, I'm all ears. I have a very big list of books to still read, but I will throw it on that list. So anyway, um, thank you all so much for listening, and I hope this suggestion helps you decide your next book. Y'all have a wonderful day or night, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!